The deck is a two of cups, which is the love story, the ultimate love story. <laughs> and his divine cinnamon to be there with him. That's his wish. You're full of love. You're full of uh, joy. You're full of peace. You're full of life. And you're feeling connected to the source. Ooh, there we go. Oh, I'm telling you, Miss Gypsy, it's getting good. I want to let you go. No, uh, when I picked up my, my tarot card, the, the card that was on the bottom was the soulmate card. <laughs> uh, you'd think that I put it there, but I mean, I did, but I didn't do it, you know. <laughs> I didn't just put it there. And then the card that flipped out was... Uh, the union card. I just wanted to let you guys know that that's what happened behind the scenes. And yeah, let me get this other video going here. There we go. There will be light. <laughs> yeah, we got light. <laughs> now let's see what the cards have to say today for the collective. You know me, I like to do the collective first. You know, I love the collective meeting, reading the best. So, all right. Well, I don't. I don't I don't love you guys' readings. I just think the collective is just like so empowerful. Or so, it, it's empowering. This is Divine Feminine and it's the Queen of Swords. To me, she tells the truth. She comes out and tells the truth. She's been speaking her truth all along. Okay. And she's single. Yeah, she's single. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Divine Time? And I haven't seen him. I saw him come in at the beginning, but I haven't seen him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there. Oh, look at that. The divine masculine. He wants to come be with his counterpart. Ooh, ooh, he's single too. He wants to be with her. <laughs> They're a power couple when they actually come together. He wants to come forward and tell her his truth. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I know. Isn't that so beautiful? Ooh, to get the power couple right next to, to each other. That's just that's, that's not easy to do so i think it's pretty cool so let's see what the message is there's something hidden <laughs> you know this is the moon card you know the moon card says there's something hiding <laughs> yeah what's hiding are these two are they hiding from everybody they, they know about each other but are they hiding what are they hiding what's hidden What's hidden between this counterpart? <laughs> Their love story is hidden. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Who's hidden? Ooh, the cards are flying out. Oh, divine timing's hiding. <laughs> divine, we didn't talk about divine timing. Divine timing is hiding. <laughs> yeah, that means we don't know exactly when they're going to come together because divine's in charge, right? <laughs> divine knows. <laughs> divine's hiding. <laughs> divine's hiding when, when, when. <laughs> Things are going on in the background. Woo! The Divine Feminine, she's got something solid. She's got an offer. Look at, she's reaching. She says, here, I got my offer here. <laughs> Ooh, Carthus is flying out tonight. This is about moving through the emotional journey. We're moving through it. You know, this this card's a good card because we're not stuck in the emotional stuff. You know, you know when the thoughts are coming, there's those lower vibrational stories. We're moving through them. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> what it has to do with a love connection there's a lovers in the house look at we got three higher arcana cards already coming in that was predicted before i even started the reading you know <laughs> the higher arcana has got a story to tell <clears throat> this divine divine film has something to offer it has to do with the emotional self and it has something to do with the love connection going on this is a divine connection <laughs> that's my favorite part the collective me too me too <laughs> Let's see, let's see what, oh, the cards are flying. <laughs> yeah, it has been a journey. It has had its ups and downs. It hasn't been a straight road. It hasn't been just like, oh, here I am. It hasn't been that way at all. It's had its ups and it's had its downs. I'm telling you, boy, has it. <laughs> These cards, they just want to tell the story. It is about, you know, lining things up so they can be balanced, so they can be solid, so they can be secure. Telling you, the cards are flying out tonight. The Divine Feminine, she keeps watering her gifts. She knows what it is she wants. You know, she was watering that palm tree. That palm tree, and its palm tree is growing. It's growing some fruit. It's growing some pinnacles. It's growing something solid. It's something, it's something tangible, touchable. 
so divine feminine keep doing you keep doing whatever it is that you're doing oh look at look at licky licky ah yeah she she keeps watering that unconditional love she keeps watering that that the fairy tale dream of a story she wants the everything that divine feminine wants everything she wants that to be touchable she wants that to be tangible that's exactly what she's offering <laughs> What else we got here for the collective? <laughs> mm, there's the cards are just flying out tonight. They're the divine feminine. She is operating from her passionate self, from her desired self. She's operating. She's being a little uh, youthful, playful. She's being a little bit more playful, not so serious. Ooh, we got the cards are flying down on the ground today. Ooh, ooh what is that? <laughs> she goes, well, I'm going to be operating. This is the divine feminine. She's trusting in divine she's trusting that her ships are coming in she's she's not in her thoughts she she's making that next move no matter what she trusts in the process oh i tell you these cards are just like they have a message to say and they want to say them really fast it's like can we hurry up and get to to the end this is, is the world card it's the last higher iconic card can we can we just complete this part of the story can we already be on top of the world can we may we can we just bring it to the top of the story <laughs> i'm telling you the divine film she continues on loving herself unconditionally what I'm laughing about is how these cards are just flying out one at a time. The Divine Masculine goes, well, I got unconditional love for you, baby. <laughs> and he's right next to her. I got some unconditional love for you. But the, the, king, of, the king of Cups, the, the king of Cups is always like spying in or looking. He kind of like holds his love back. You know, he's got love for her and he's coming out to tell her here in the reading. But we haven't heard it in, in person. Or maybe you have, but you did, you, maybe you missed it. Or maybe it came from a different person. Yeah. Ooh. But divine gives you messages in all kinds of ways. And sometimes divine uses other people to give you the message that you need to hear. So it's important for you to be listening to all the messages no matter where they come from <clears throat> this is about uh, you know love laughter play joy happiness passion desire the divine masculine he's been trying to come forward to tell you his truth but he's had some challenges that mustang's going on out there just revving up a storm i'm telling you that divine masculine he wants to come forward he wants to tell you his truth but he has had some difficulties there's some challenges there's some obstacles that are in his way obstacles in the divine masculine's way i'm telling you how can that possibly be he tell it he wants to come forward and tell you his truth he has a solid offer and he wants to come forward being balanced what he has to offer you is that love he has love to offer to his divine feminine I wonder what that energy is that's in the way. I wonder what that is. You know, something's got to be moved. Something's got to be shifted. Right now, <clears throat> she's letting go of any of those lower vibrational stories, that fear, that doubt, insecurity, that anger, that frustration. You know, she's sitting there going, well, when's he ever going to show up? He's just never going to show up. I mean, you know, it's always saying in the reading that he has the truth to tell us and he always wants to come forward and, and share his love. But, you know, he's always going through some kind of challenges, some kind of obstacles. So the Divine Feminine, you know, she's having to push through those emotions. Which ones? Those ones that are a lower vibration. We need to push through them. Mm -hmm. All right, what else we got for the collective? That Divine Feminine, she's checking out how she's got to push through, the, through those lower vibrational stories because of whatever's going on in the masculine's life that he can't, he hasn't made that forward movement yet. Mm -mm. But he wants to. So to me, the divine feminine. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm going through my own, my own little love story too. You know, <laughs> but it, to me, I look at it. it my love story is being delivered directly from divine, from source, from spirit. So no matter what happens or doesn't happen in one area, I'm looking how things are happening in another area. Okay. 
This is about a decision that needs to be made. This is a decision about coming together. Ooh, cards are flying out. To be operating from, from this vibrancy, like the peacock, having that peacock feeling, knowing your worth, knowing your value, you know, standing in your spot, you know, being seen, <clears throat> being grounded, being whole, being complete. <clears throat> Laying down all stories, laying down all stories that are not serving you to your highest good. Blocking out any, any energy that may come in the way of, of this. Any energy, no matter where it comes from, even if it comes from that one that you're so deeply in love with, you know, even if the energy comes in from them, that you're utilizing that energy to, to gain strength. You know, this is, it's already been thrown at you and it's like you're, you're like building a wall so that type of energy can no longer come and touch your higher vibrational soul. My dog's a snoring. She's a snoring. That means the reading's good. Oh, that divine masculine, the emperor. He has been holding himself back. See how he's holding himself back? Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. Mm, that divine masculine, he's holding himself back because he wants to come forward solid. He wants to come forward correct. He wants to come forward uh, like in, in his, his best suit. He wants to come forward. He wants to show you his worth and his value. He wants you to, he wants you to know that he, he, he doesn't want to come forward with this energy that keeps getting in his way. He wants to come forward correct. Okay. Yeah, in the, but there's still energy that keeps coming in the in the way of that divine masculine's truth. <laughs> okay, that's better. That's better. <laughs> this is a soulmate connection that you guys have known each other in the past or sometime in this lifetime. That there's nothing but unconditional love within this connection. Divine Feminine, I want you to continue what it is that you do best. Continue on doing what you do best. Have your back turned to whatever's going on with that masculine in his life and his journey. Do not pick up on those emotionals. Do not want something to happen sooner or quicker than Divine is ready to allow it to happen. Divine wants to make sure everything's crystal clear, right in the right order. You know, there are different options. There are different choices that are happening right now. But the Divine Feminine, she's not looking at those choices or those options. She's going to continue on choosing from her heart space. <clears throat> she's going to continue operating from a balance, having that Divine Masculine, that Divine Feminine energy being balanced. Because those two at the beginning here, this Divine Masculine, this Divine Feminine, they're coming together in union one way or another because Divine's going to make it happen. You know, if you guys are meant to be, there's nothing that can actually get in the way. It may feel like it. <laughs> oh, there's a heartache, a heartbreak. Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> That's what it seems like that will get in the way. The heartbreak We get in the way. But the thing is, what are we doing with that heartache, that heartbreak? Is we're giving it so much love. This card had more love in it than any other card in the whole tarot deck. This is unconditional love. That's what we give that heartache. So we allow that heart to grow. So we allow that heart to expand. So union can come in together. Because if we have this pain in the heart, you know, we that has to be taken care of before the, the, you guys unite together. <clears throat> All right, Look, the cards aren't flying out as much until I say that. The Divine Feminine, the Divine Feminine, continue on doing the work. Mm -hmm. I know it's a load. I know it's a load to carry. I know that energy can, is still coming towards you and at you. No, know that you are being tested. There's the Divine Feminine, she, there's thoughts going on, things are being laid down, but she's holding on to one of the thoughts. What's she holding on to? She's holding on to her light. I love it. 
Divine Feminine, continue on holding on to your light. This is the happiest card in the deck. It's so important to hold on to your happiness, no matter what's going on in the background. Continue on doing that self-love work when this this is this stuff that's going on that seems toxic, that, you know, that's the devil at the play, you know, trying to make it seem like, you know, you guys don't belong together. This isn't supposed to be right. We're going to, the devil walk, operates from fear, doubt, insecurity, you know, hatred, um, betrayal, man. You know, you know, know that that divine is up there to making making a final judgment call to balance out these emotions right now. He's probably doing it right the now for the star the to come out. This is so the wishes and dreams can come forward and come true because that divine masculine he has he truly has so much passion and so much desire for you. And that's the truth. So in the meantime, divine feminine, I want you to continue on moving forward operating you know as if life is going very good you know this is the fastest card in the deck get on your chariot and keep on moving forward keep moving forward magically use all the tools that you have use all the tools that you have have allow yourself to be on that stage to shine your light to feel the victorious feeling that's what i have for the collection today